threads through time. A journey through the history of fashion invites you on an immersive expedition spanning epics and cultures, tracing the intricate threads of fashion's evolution. Welcome back to the Fashion Mag Beef Channel. We are happy you are here again. Let's talk about the captivating tapestry of style, from the dawn of civilization to the cutting-edge trends of today. Delve deep into the rich fabric of history as we unravel the stories woven into every garment, exploring how attire has served as a mirror, reflecting the values, aspirations, and identities of societies across time. Embark on a voyage through ancient civilizations, where garments were more than mere clothing. They were symbols of status, identity, and ritual. Witness the opulence of royal courts, the craftsmanship of skilled artisans, and the innovation of textile production techniques that laid the foundation for centuries of sartorial splendor. As we journey through the annals of time, immerse ourselves in the grandeur of the Middle Ages, where fashion was a canvas for expressing power, piety, and prestige. Experience the rebirth of art and culture during the Renaissance, where sumptuous fabrics, intricate embroidery, and exquisite tailoring heralded a new era of elegance and refinement. Enter the extravagant world of the Baroque period, where fashion became a spectacle of excess and indulgence, reflecting the lavish lifestyles of European elites. Explore the refined elegance of the Victorian era, where rigid social norms were mirrored in elaborate garments and strict codes of dress. Venture into the modern age, where the pace of change accelerated, and fashion became a dynamic force, driving social change, cultural revolution, and individual expression. From the liberated styles of the Roaring Twenties to the sleek sophistication of mid-century modernism, witness the transformative power of fashion as it adapts to the shifting currents of society. But our journey does not end there. In the contemporary era, Fashion continues to evolve, shaped by globalization, technology, and the quest for sustainability. From haute couture runways to street-style subcultures, explore the diverse landscapes of fashion today and glimpse into the future of style. Threads Through Time is more than just a chronicle of clothing. It is a tapestry of human experience, woven from the fabric of culture creativity, and individuality. Join us as we unravel the threads of history and discover the timeless allure of fashion's enduring legacy, ancient beginnings. Step back in time to uncover the origins of fashion in the ancient world, where clothing was more than just garments. It was a reflection of culture, identity, and status. Journey through the ancient civilizations of Egypt, Mesopotamia, Greece, and Rome as we unravel the fascinating tapestry of early fashion. In ancient Egypt, clothing was not only a practical necessity, but also a symbol of social status and religious significance. Explore the exquisite craftsmanship of ancient Egyptian garments. From the linen robes of everyday wear, to the elaborate headdresses and jewelry worn by royalty and priests. Discover how clothing played a central role in Egyptian rituals, funerary practices, and artistic expression, providing insight into the beliefs and values of this ancient civilization. Across the sands of Mesopotamia, the cradle of civilization, delve into the rich heritage of textile production and garment design. Learn about the innovative techniques employed by Mesopotamian artisans to weave intricate patterns and create colorful fabrics using natural dyes and fibers. Explore the diverse styles of clothing 
worn by Mesopotamian society, from the simple tunics of commoners to the luxurious robes adorned by kings and queens, each reflecting the social hierarchy and cultural identity of the ancient Mesopotamians. Journey to the birthplace of democracy and philosophy in ancient Greece, where clothing served as a form of expression and identity. Explore the draping styles of ancient Greek garments, such as the chiton and himation, and discover how clothing was used to convey gender, class, and social status. Delve into the world of Greek mythology and the iconic imagery of gods and heroes depicted in ancient Greek art, influencing fashion trends and aesthetic ideals for centuries to come. Finally, venture into the heart of the Roman Empire, where fashion reached new heights of sophistication and grandeur. Witness the evolution of Roman clothing, from the simple garments of the Republic to the elaborate togas and tunics of the imperial era. Explore the intricate techniques of Roman tailoring and the opulent embellishments used to adorn clothing, reflecting the wealth and power of the Roman elite. Discover the social significance of attire in Roman society, where clothing conveyed not only status, but also citizenship, honor, and allegiance to the state. Through the lens of ancient civilizations, we gain a deeper understanding of the origins of fashion and the profound influence of clothing on culture, society, and individual identity. Join us on this enlightening journey as we explore the ancient beginnings of fashion and unravel the threads of history woven into the fabric of human civilization. Medieval elegance. Step into the medieval period, a time of knights, castles, and courtly fashion, as we explore the evolution of clothing from the fall of the Roman Empire to the Renaissance. Discover the distinctive styles of medieval attire, from the ornate garments of nobility to the humble dress of peasants and serfs. Learn about the role of sumptuary laws in regulating clothing and maintaining social hierarchy, and explore the symbolism and significance of clothing in medieval society. Embark on a journey through the Middle Ages, a tumultuous era marked by feudalism, chivalry, and the rise of powerful kingdoms and empires. Explore the diverse landscapes of medieval Europe, from the majestic castles of feudal lords to the bustling market towns where merchants and artisans ply their trade. In the courts of medieval Europe, clothing was not merely a form of adornment, but a powerful symbol of status, wealth, and power. Discover the opulent fashions favored by medieval royalty and nobility from the elaborate gowns and tunics embellished with precious metals and gemstones, to the luxurious furs and velvets imported from distant lands. Explore the intricate details of medieval costume, including the elaborate headwear, jewelry, and accessories worn by queens, kings, and their retinue, as well as the armor and weaponry of medieval knights and warriors. Beyond the confines of the castle walls, medieval peasants and serfs toiled the land in simple garments made from wool, linen, and other coarse fabrics. Explore the practical and utilitarian nature of medieval peasant attire, from the rough tunics and leggings worn for daily labor, to the sturdy boots and cloaks designed to protect against the elements. Learn about the role of clothing in medieval social hierarchy. As sumptuary laws regulated the types of garments and colors that could be worn by different classes of society, reinforcing the divisions between nobility, clergy, and commoners. Join us on a journey through the medieval period as we unravel the layers of history woven into the fabric of medieval fashion. 
from the glittering courts of kings and queens to the humble cottages of peasants and serfs. Explore the rich tapestry of medieval attire and discover the stories of love, betrayal, and intrigue hidden within its folds. Renaissance. Revival. As we transition to the Renaissance period, we witness a rebirth of creativity, innovation, and cultural flourishing that would profoundly impact the world of fashion. Emerging from the darkness of the Middle Ages, the Renaissance brought with it a renewed interest in classical art, literature, and philosophy, inspiring a new era of artistic expression and individualism. During the Renaissance, fashion became a powerful means of self-expression and social status, with clothing serving as a canvas for showcasing wealth, taste, and refinement. Nobles and aristocrats adorned themselves in sumptuous fabrics, such as silk, velvet, and brocade, embellished with intricate embroidery, lace, and jewels. Elaborate garments, featuring voluminous skirts, slashed sleeves, and ornate ruffs, became synonymous with the opulence and grandeur of the Renaissance court. At the heart of Renaissance fashion was the concept of spresatura, a term coined by Italian author Baldassare Castiglione in his seminal work, The Book of the Courtier. Spresatura referred to a sense of effortless elegance and nonchalance in one's appearance, achieved through a careful balance of refinement and restraint. This ideal of effortless grace and sophistication became central to Renaissance fashion, influencing everything from clothing styles to grooming habits. The Renaissance also marked a turning point in the role of women in society, with female fashion reflecting changing attitudes towards femininity, autonomy, and self-expression. Women's clothing became more tailored and structured, with the emergence of the corset shaping the silhouette and accentuating the waist. Fashionable women of the Renaissance embraced a more natural beauty aesthetic, with pale complexions, soft curls, and delicate features celebrated as the epitome of elegance and refinement. As the Renaissance unfolded, fashion became increasingly intertwined with the arts, literature, and culture of the period, serving as a reflection of the values, aspirations, and ideals of society. From the lavish costumes of the aristocracy to the simple elegance of the merchant class, Renaissance fashion embodied the spirit of an era marked by creativity, innovation, and the pursuit of beauty. Join us as we journey through the Renaissance period and explore the rich tapestry of fashion that defined this transformative era. From the grandeur of the royal courts to the bustling streets of Renaissance cities, discover the stories, influences, and innovations that shaped the fashion of the time. In addition to the opulent attire favored by the nobility, Renaissance fashion also encompassed a wide range of styles and influences that reflected the diversity of society during this period. While the wealthy elite flaunted their wealth through luxurious fabrics and extravagant embellishments, the burgeoning middle class embraced more practical and versatile clothing suited to their daily lives. One notable aspect of Renaissance fashion was the revival of classical motifs and themes, inspired by the rediscovery of ancient Greek and Roman art and literature. This classical influence manifested in the draping of garments, the use of classical motifs in embroidery and ornamentation, and the adoption of classical hairstyles and accessories. Renaissance fashionistas looked to the past for inspiration, blending elements of ancient style with contemporary sensibilities to create a distinctive aesthetic 
that celebrated both tradition and innovation. The Renaissance period also witnessed significant developments in textile production and garment construction, thanks to advancements in technology and trade. The introduction of new weaving techniques, such as the Jacquard loom, revolutionized the textile industry, allowing for the creation of intricate patterns and designs previously unattainable by hand. As a result, textiles became more readily available and affordable, enabling individuals from all walks of life to access a wider range of fabrics and styles. Fashion during the Renaissance was not only a means of personal expression, but also a reflection of broader cultural and societal trends. The clothing worn by individuals conveyed social status, occupation, and identity, serving as a visual marker of one's place in society. Fashion was also closely intertwined with religious beliefs and rituals, with ecclesiastical vestments and religious symbolism influencing secular attire. As we delve deeper into the complexities of Renaissance fashion, we uncover a world rich in diversity, creativity, and innovation. From the elaborate courtly fashions of the elite to the practical attire of the working class, Renaissance clothing embodied the spirit of an era defined by artistic exploration, intellectual curiosity, and the pursuit of beauty. Join us on this journey through time as we unravel the threads of history and explore the captivating world of Renaissance fashion in all its splendor and complexity, Baroque extravagance. Experience the opulence and extravagance of Baroque fashion in the 17th and 18th centuries. Learn about the rise of fashion capitals, such as Paris, and the emergence of haute couture. During the Baroque period, fashion reached new heights of extravagance and splendor, reflecting the opulence of the era's artistic and cultural movements. As Europe experienced a period of economic prosperity and political stability, the upper classes indulged in luxurious clothing and accessories to showcase their wealth and status. Baroque fashion was characterized by its lavish fabrics, elaborate embellishments, and dramatic silhouettes, creating an aesthetic that was both extravagant and theatrical. One of the defining features of Baroque fashion was its emphasis on grandeur and excess. Nobles and aristocrats spared no expense when it came to their attire, adorning themselves in sumptuous fabrics such as silk, satin, and velvet, often embellished with intricate embroidery, lace, and jewels. The garments of the Baroque era were designed to impress and dazzle, with voluminous skirts, exaggerated sleeves, and elaborate drapery, creating a sense of drama and spectacle. Paris emerged as the leading fashion capital of the Baroque era, attracting designers, tailors, and artisans from across Europe to cater to the demands of the elite. The city became synonymous with luxury and refinement, setting the standard for haute couture and establishing the foundations of the modern fashion industry. Wealthy patrons commissioned elaborate garments and accessories from skilled artisans, who showcased their craftsmanship through intricate detailing and exquisite craftsmanship. The rise of haute couture during the Baroque period marked a significant shift in the fashion landscape. As designers began to create custom-made garments tailored to the individual tastes and preferences of their clients, this bespoke approach to fashion allowed for greater personalization and innovation, paving the way for the couture houses and luxury brands that dominate the industry today. The demand for luxury goods fueled the growth of fashion as a lucrative industry, 
transforming clothing from a practical necessity into a status symbol and form of artistic expression. As we delve into the world of Baroque fashion, we uncover a realm of extravagance, sophistication, and creative innovation. From the grandeur of the royal court to the bustling streets of Paris, the Baroque era was a time of unparalleled opulence and luxury, where fashion served as a reflection of society's values and aspirations. Join us on this journey through history as we explore the captivating allure of Baroque fashion and its enduring legacy in the world of style and design. Victorian Elegance Step into the refined world of Victorian fashion, characterized by its elegance, modesty, and intricate detailing. Explore the social, cultural, and technological influences that shaped fashion during the Victorian era. Discover the iconic styles, accessories, and etiquette of Victorian dress, from the crinoline to the bustle. Learn about the rise of department stores, fashion magazines, and mass production, which democratized fashion and expanded its reach. Uncover the role of Queen Victoria as a style icon and influencer, whose tastes and preferences influenced fashion trends throughout her reign. Experience the elaborate rituals of Victorian dressing and the strict codes of etiquette that governed attire and behavior. Gain insight into the symbolism and significance of clothing in Victorian society, from mourning attire to social status indicators. Trace the evolution of Victorian fashion from the early years of Queen Victoria's reign to the dawn of the 20th century. As changing attitudes and innovations transformed the fashion landscape. During the Victorian era, which spanned from the early 19th century to the early 20th century, fashion underwent significant transformations reflecting the values and ideals of the time. Victorian fashion is often characterized by its elegance, modesty, and attention to detail, with styles varying significantly across social classes and regions. One hallmark of Victorian fashion was its emphasis on modesty and propriety, particularly for women's clothing. Women's dresses were typically long, with high necklines, long sleeves, and full skirts that emphasized a narrow waistline. Corsets were commonly worn to achieve the desired hourglass figure, although there were growing concerns about their impact on women's health. The Victorian era also saw the rise of elaborate embellishments and detailing in fashion. Dresses were adorned with lace, ruffles, ribbons, and intricate embroidery, showcasing the wealth and status of the wearer. Fabrics such as silk, velvet, and satin were favored for their luxurious appearance and drape, while rich colors like deep purples, emerald greens, and burgundy were popular choices. Accessories played a crucial role in Victorian fashion, adding the finishing touches to an ensemble. Women often wore gloves, hats, and parasols when venturing outdoors, while jewelry such as brooches, cameos, and lockets adorned their attire. Hairstyles were elaborate, with intricate braids, curls, and updos complementing the overall look. The Victorian era also witnessed significant advancements in the production and distribution of clothing. The rise of department stores and mail-order catalogs made fashionable clothing more accessible to a wider audience while the development of sewing machines and standardized sizing revolutionized the garment industry. Queen Victoria herself played a significant role in shaping Victorian fashion. Her preference for somber colors and simple silhouettes following the death of her husband, Prince Albert, influenced mourning attire 
and set new standards for tasteful dressing. However, her reign also saw the emergence of new trends and styles, particularly during the later years of her rule. Overall, Victorian fashion represents a fascinating blend of tradition and innovation, reflecting the complexities of Victorian society and the changing roles of women during this period of history. Through its intricate designs, symbolic meanings, and cultural significance, Victorian fashion continues to captivate and inspire contemporary audiences around the world. Roaring Twenties and Jazz Age Chic The 1920s, often referred to as the Roaring Twenties or the Jazz Age, was a vibrant and dynamic period in fashion history. Characterized by dramatic social and cultural changes, this era witnessed the rise of modernism, liberation, and innovation in fashion. One of the defining features of 1920s fashion was the radical shift in women's clothing. The silhouette evolved from the restrictive corsets and voluminous skirts of the Victorian era to a more relaxed and liberated style. Women embraced shorter hemlines, abandoning the ankle-length skirts of the past in favor of knee-length or above-the-knee dresses. This new silhouette allowed for greater freedom of movement, reflecting the changing roles and aspirations of women in society. The iconic flapper dress became emblematic of 1920s fashion, with its straight, shapeless silhouette, dropped waistline, and intricate embellishments such as beading, sequins, and fringe. Flappers were young, modern women who rejected traditional gender norms and embraced a lifestyle characterized by independence, confidence, and hedonism. Their fashion choices symbolized a break from the past and a celebration of youth, vitality, and joie de vivre. In addition to flapper dresses, other key elements of 1920s, fashion included cloche hats, bobbed hairstyles, and Art Deco-inspired accessories. Cloche hats, which fit snugly over the head and featured a downturned brim, complemented the sleek and streamlined silhouette of flapper dresses. Bobbed hairstyles, characterized by short, cropped haircuts with blunt bangs, became synonymous with the modern, liberated woman of the 1920s. Art Deco an influential design movement characterized by geometric shapes, bold colors, and lavish ornamentation, also left its mark on 1920s fashion. Art Deco motifs adorned clothing, accessories, and jewelry, adding a touch of glamour and sophistication to the jazz age aesthetic. The popularity of jazz music and dance culture further influenced 1920s fashion inspiring new trends in clothing and style. Nightclubs and speakeasies became popular social destinations where people could see and be seen in the latest fashions while dancing the night away to the infectious rhythms of jazz. Overall, the Roaring Twenties was a transformative period in fashion history, marked by innovation, liberation, and self-expression. The bold, daring styles of the jazz age continue to inspire designers and fashion enthusiasts today, serving as a testament to the enduring legacy of this dynamic era. Post-war elegance and the new look. Following the tumultuous years of World War II, the fashion world underwent a dramatic transformation that ushered in a new era of elegance and sophistication. With the end of wartime austerity, designers sought to revitalize the industry by introducing lavish, luxurious styles that celebrated femininity and glamour. At the forefront of this fashion revolution was Christian Dior, whose iconic New Look collection debuted in 1947 and redefined post-war fashion. 
Dior's designs featured soft, rounded shoulders, nipped-in waists, and voluminous skirts that exuded grace, opulence, and refinement. The new look represented a departure from the practical, utilitarian styles of the war years, offering women a sense of luxury and escapism in the aftermath of conflict. The silhouette of the new look, characterized by its emphasis on curves and hourglass proportions, became synonymous with post-war elegance and femininity. Dior's designs embraced a romantic, nostalgic aesthetic inspired by the Belle Epoque era, evoking a sense of fantasy and allure that captivated women around the world. In addition to Dior, other designers such as Cristobal Balenciaga, Coco Chanel, and Hubert de Givenchy played pivotal roles in shaping post-war fashion with their innovative designs and creative vision. Balenciaga, known for his architectural silhouettes and impeccable craftsmanship, introduced sculptural shapes and bold, avant-garde designs that challenged traditional notions of femininity. Meanwhile, Chanel revolutionized women's fashion with her timeless, effortlessly chic aesthetic, epitomized by the iconic Chanel suit. With its streamlined silhouette, collarless jacket, and signature tweed fabric, the Chanel suit became a symbol of modern sophistication and understated luxury, reflecting the evolving role of women in society. Givenchy, renowned for his elegant evening wear and couture creations, dressed some of the most influential women of his time, including Audrey Hepburn and Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis. His designs epitomized refinement and grace, embodying the epitome of post-war elegance and glamour. The post-war period also witnessed significant advancements in textile technology and manufacturing processes, leading to the proliferation of ready-to-wear fashion and the democratization of style. Mass production techniques allowed for greater accessibility to fashion, enabling women of all backgrounds to embrace the latest trends and express their individuality through clothing. Overall, the post-war era marked a golden age of fashion, characterized by innovation, creativity, and optimism. The new look and its counterparts paved the way for a new era of elegance and sophistication, shaping the trajectory of fashion for decades to come. Swinging 60s and youth culture revolution. The 1960s marked a period of radical change and cultural upheaval, and nowhere was this more evident than in the world of fashion. As societal norms shifted, and a new generation came of age, fashion underwent a seismic transformation, reflecting the spirit of rebellion, liberation, and experimentation that defined the decade. The swinging 60s was a time of unprecedented social and political change, characterized by the civil rights movement, women's liberation, and the rise of youth culture. This newfound sense of freedom and empowerment found expression in fashion, as young people embraced bold, daring styles that challenged conventional norms and celebrated individuality. One of the most iconic trends of the era was the miniskirt, popularized by British fashion designer Mary Quant. The miniskirt symbolized the youth quake movement, which rejected the conservatism of previous generations in favor of a more liberated, avant-garde approach to fashion. Short hemlines, geometric prints, and vibrant colors became synonymous with the swinging 60s, reflecting the energy and optimism of the era. In addition to the miniskirt, other key fashion trends of the 1960s included mod fashion, characterized by sleek, minimalist designs and sharp tailoring, 
as well as psychedelic prints and bold patterns, inspired by the burgeoning counterculture movement. Designers such as Pierre Cardin, André Courage, and Paco Rabanne pushed the boundaries of traditional fashion, experimenting with unconventional materials and avant-garde silhouettes that defied convention. The swinging 60s also witnessed the emergence of youth-driven fashion subcultures, such as the hippie movement, which embraced a bohemian, free-spirited aesthetic characterized by flowing fabrics, peasant blouses, and psychedelic tie-dye patterns. Hippie fashion rejected the materialism and consumerism of mainstream society, advocating for peace, love, and cultural revolution. Meanwhile, in the realm of haute couture, designers such as Yves Saint Laurent challenged traditional notions of femininity with their innovative designs and gender-bending styles. Saint Laurent's iconic Le Smoking Tuxedo suit for women revolutionized evening wear, offering a bold alternative to the traditional ball gown and empowering women to embrace menswear-inspired fashion. Overall, the swinging 60s was a transformative period in fashion history, characterized by innovation, experimentation, and social change. The decade's vibrant and eclectic styles continued to influence contemporary fashion, serving as a testament to the enduring legacy of the 1960s youth culture revolution. Decade of Decadence The Glamour of the 1980s The 1980s was a decade defined by excess, glamour, and bold self-expression. From power suits to punk rock, the fashion of the 80s reflected the dynamic and often contradictory spirit of the era. As the world witnessed rapid technological advancements, economic prosperity, and cultural shifts, fashion became a powerful means of asserting identity and making a statement. One of the defining features of 1980s fashion was the prominence of power dressing, epitomized by the ubiquitous shoulder pads, oversized blazers, and structured silhouettes. This sartorial trend reflected the increasing presence of women in the workforce and their desire to assert authority in male-dominated professions. Power suits became a symbol of female empowerment, conveying strength, confidence, and ambition. Simultaneously, the 80s saw the rise of streetwear and subcultural movements that rebelled against mainstream fashion norms. Punk rock, with its DIY ethos and anti-establishment attitude, inspired a distinctive aesthetic characterized by ripped denim, leather jackets, and studded accessories. Bands like The Sex Pistols and The Clash became style icons, influencing a generation of young people to embrace a punk-inspired look that rejected conformity and celebrated individuality. In contrast to the edgy street style of punk, the 1980s also witnessed the emergence of preppy fashion, popularized by iconic brands like Ralph Lauren and Tommy Hilfiger. Preppy attire, characterized by cable-knit sweaters, polo shirts, and pleated skirts, evoked an air of sophistication and old-money elegance. Appealing to those who sought to emulate the refined aesthetic of the upper class. Another hallmark of 80s fashion was the emphasis on glamour and luxury, exemplified by the rise of designer labels and haute couture. Designers like Gianni Versace, Christian Lacroix, and Thierry Mugler created opulent, high-octane looks adorned with sequins, metallics, and bold patterns. The era of excess was epitomized by the lavish lifestyles of celebrities and socialites who flaunted their wealth through extravagant fashion choices and ostentatious displays of luxury. Furthermore, 
the 1980s saw a proliferation of fitness and activewear trends. Fueled by the popularity of aerobics and the burgeoning health and wellness movement, leggings, leotards, and neon-colored workout gear became fashionable attire, both inside and outside the gym, reflecting a newfound emphasis on physical fitness and athleticism. In conclusion, the 1980s was a decade of sartorial extremes, characterized by diverse and eclectic fashion trends that reflected the social, cultural, and economic dynamics of the era. From power suits to punk rock, preppy chic to haute couture glamour, the fashion of the 80s was a vibrant expression of individuality, creativity, and self-expression. Additionally, the 1980s witnessed significant advancements in technology and media, which had a profound impact on fashion trends and consumer culture. The advent of MTV revolutionized the way people consumed music and entertainment, introducing a visual language that heavily influenced fashion aesthetics. Music icons like Madonna, Michael Jackson, and Prince became style icons, inspiring fans to emulate their bold and innovative looks. The fashion industry itself underwent transformative changes during the 1980s. With the proliferation of designer brands, fashion magazines, and runway shows, high-end fashion became more accessible to the masses through diffusion lines, licensing agreements, and collaborations with retailers. The democratization of fashion led to a greater diversity of styles and price points, empowering consumers to express themselves through clothing in new and exciting ways. Furthermore, the rise of celebrity culture and consumerism fueled a relentless pursuit of trends and status symbols. Fashion became increasingly synonymous with fame, fortune, and social status, as celebrities and influencers wielded significant influence over consumer behavior. Designer logos became status symbols, adorning everything from handbags to clothing, as consumers sought to align themselves with aspirational lifestyles and luxury brands. However, the excesses of 1980s fashion also had their detractors, with critics decrying the conspicuous consumption and materialism that characterized the era. The emphasis on image and outward appearance sometimes overshadowed deeper societal issues, leading to concerns about the superficiality and shallowness of contemporary culture. Despite these criticisms, the fashion of the 1980s remains an enduring source of inspiration and fascination for designers, historians, and fashion enthusiasts alike. Its legacy continues to shape contemporary trends and aesthetics as designers reinterpret and reinvent 80s fashion tropes for modern audiences. In conclusion, the 1980s was a decade of unparalleled creativity, innovation, and diversity in fashion. From power dressing to punk rock, preppy chic to haute couture glamour, the fashion of the 80s reflected the dynamism and contradictions of the era, leaving an indelible mark on the cultural landscape that continues to resonate to this day.